lovely sail into Vista Mar, we were essentially greeted at the dock by Tom and Marie, one of my best friends from high school's parents. We had been in touch via Instagram and they were going to be in Panama at the same time as us and have a house in the high country. It was so great to see familiar and friendly faces after missing our kiddo horribly for the two days prior. We ended up spending a couple days with them, staying the night at their place, and we went on a drive about tour with Tom. Marie made us some amazing smoothies and a delicious dairy-free pizza. Riley was in heaven. And we did a short walk to a cascading waterfall where locals were escaping the heat as well. You might have noticed that we took down a lifeline netting because we actually sent Lucas home with my parents. We decided to send Lucas home because of some potentially dangerous weather conditions along the west coast of Central America. The winds can pick up quickly and without warning and we just didn't feel that it was safe for Lucas to be in a situation like that if Sharon and I had to both be up in the cockpit taking care of the boat. So right now he's at home in Port Angeles with my mom and her husband Eric and he's playing in the snow and he's being spoiled rot. Our visit was brief but our visit was great and thank you Tom and Marie and we will definitely be seeing you again soon. Now back to the boat. You just looking for a ride or are you looking for a fish? Or are you looking for a place to poop? You got that I'm gonna shit on your dinghy look in your eye. Okay, buddy. Huge. 
So after reeling in this beautiful fish, we quickly ate some sushi and then decided to eat the rest of it with our new found friends at Isla Seca. We ate it also very quickly because our refrigeration decided to die, so now we just need to find repair parts. So over the last couple days, our uh, boat grew a bit of a beard while we were just anchored or mooring. Um, so we're hopeful that our sail down, our high speeds, nine, 10 knots, uh, knocked off a lot of it, but we're just gonna go down there and see what's left and uh, scrub it off. Just do a general hole inspection. That's about it. Good times, boat life. <laughs> boat projects. Riley worked on one of the generators named Heckle, the other one is named Jekyll, and we ended up anchoring next to another boat with a hailing port also from Alaska, Bill and Lisanne from Anchorage. We had dinner and sundowners in the cockpit and had just a great time chatting and we also look forward to meeting up with them again when they reach Mexico. Uh, Heckle's never been quite right since day one, hence the name, and I think found the problem. Uh, it had a this switch right here that controls turning it on, choke, turning it off. Uh, it's got a valve on the back side of it that allows the fuel to flow through and into the carburetor. I traced the problem back to that. Um, didn't find anything real obvious, but it's flowing at least. So hopefully uh, it solves the problem and we get heckle back up and running because it was just shutting off due to fuel starvation. So again, more clogged fuel lines. Hence the saying from Caterpillar, buy clean fuel, keep it clean. Oh geez, Riley was right. My face is super white. Sunscreen. <laughs> Gotta wear it. So we are at Isla Secas, Panama, and the other night we came in and anchored right over here because it was a nighttime recommended anchorage. And um, so we spent one night there. They Folks reviewed it saying it was gonna be pretty rolly, but it was fine for us because the winds were right. Um, and then we moved over to this anchorage, which is super calm and there's like some sandy bits with some coral heads. So we anchored in the sand and I've been snor snorkeling around the boat and it's pretty awesome because <laughs> the water's so clear and um, yeah, pleasant. We're staying an extra day. 
next to this eco-tourism resort, which apparently you can rent a place over here for $600 a night. <sighs> okay, let's go swimming. or translated dry islands lay about 20 miles off the shore of Panama. This archipelago lay within the Gulf of Chiriqué and has 14 separate islands and is home to over 750 species of fish. While there, Riley and I saw eagle rays flying through the air, pods of dolphins off of our bow, and at night hundreds of needlefish darting for prey in the dark. We saw tons of tropical fish in the coral heads and rocky cliffs while snorkeling near an island shaped like a drumstick. And thank goodness I didn't see any sharks. During certain times of the year, the waters are teeming with two separate migrations of whales, one from the northern hemisphere and one from the south. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a mouse. <laughs> it's probably really strong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 